Hey, what is up everybody? Josh Quinones here and today I am going to show you how to properly install the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector on the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, I know I did a previous video installing this screen protector on the Galaxy S10 Plus, but that was my very first time ever applying this kind of screen protector on any device at all. So there was one step where I did kind of mess up, but keep in mind that that video was pointed toward, it was supposed to be more to show how well this screen protector works with the in-display fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus, and it worked great. And these are some of the best tempered glass screen protectors that you can get for any device right now. They protect the display of your phone very, very good. I have no disappointments at all with these screen protectors, but today I'm going to show you how to properly install them on your device. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is going to be everything that comes in the box of each one. We got the one for the Galaxy S10 right here, and then one for the Galaxy S10 Plus right there. Now in front of the box, it does say full ultrasonic recognition for the fingerprint sensor in the display, full clarity, full coverage, and full filling. And there's also an adhesive curing UV light, which is in these white boxes that you see up top right here. So let me go ahead and remove everything from the two trays first to get this started. All right, so as you can see, I've got everything out of the trays for now. We are going to go ahead and start with the bottom trays. You can see I got the top trays hidden up here, but we want to go ahead and start with the bottom trays. And what we're going to do is take this little packages right here for each of them. They have these little cleaning cloths in here that we're going to go ahead and take out these little towelettes. And let's go ahead and rip one off for now. Now, what we want to do is clean the screens really good, make sure they're clean, and then we're going to go ahead and throw them in the trays. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clean my S10 Plus first. And you also want to make sure that the device is turned off so you don't get any accidental button presses or anything like that. You want to be able to make sure that your screen is clean. You want to be able to see everything to make sure there's no dust or fingerprints or anything like that. So once you're done cleaning it with the cleaning cloth, you want to go ahead and take this little cloth that they have in the bag as well. There's actually a couple of them, so I'll take one of them to go ahead and dry down the display from the little moisture that was left from the cleaning cloth. Make sure you dry it up really good. And then I'll go ahead and throw this on the bottom tray right there. And then we want to do the same thing with the Galaxy S10. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and cover the top speaker with this adhesive tape right here. That way we make sure none of the glue gets in there once we start putting the screen protector on. So there's for the S10 Plus. Let me go ahead and throw on for the Samsung Galaxy S10 as well. Right up there, just barely covering the speaker. There we go, so that's all nice and covered. Now that we got those on, we are going to go ahead and throw on the top tray on both sides. Okay, so we got both top trays in and you want to make sure that the absorption pads are placed on the sides. If they are not, make sure you place them in there. Okay, now these top pins up here may or may not already be in place. As for me, they are already in place, but I'm gonna go ahead and take them off really quick for now because what we wanna do first is get these dust remover stickers to clean off any dust on the display. If you leave those in there, they'll just be in the way on top and you won't be able to get any dust that is left up there. So you wanna make sure you get all the dust off that you can with these stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the Galaxy S10 Plus and the regular Galaxy S10 on the right as well. Okay, so now that I have got all the dust off on both devices, devices, I am going to go ahead and set the pins back in up on top, both sides. There we go. And then next we are going to take the bridge, place it right over the top of the phone right here. Got the bridge for the regular Galaxy S10 over here as well. Place it right up there. There's these little slots that you will see on the sides of the tray. Go ahead and set them right there. And then we're going to take the adhesive bottle. What you wanna do for the Galaxy S10 Plus, the color is purple. Go ahead and take off the purple side and then you're gonna screw this into the bridge just like that. And then for the regular S10, the cap is going to be blue and the blue one is going to be the one that you are going to unscrew. And then same exact thing, you're gonna screw that on top of the bridge, just like that. So once you've got them both in, you are going to go ahead and twist off the black cap on the other end and then allow all the adhesive to pour on to the display. Go ahead and do that on this side as well. And I'm gonna wait a little bit to make sure all the adhesive is out of both bottles. Okay, so once all the liquid is out, you're gonna go ahead and carefully take off both bridges from each phone. So I've got both bridges off and then at this point is when the screen protector comes in. You're gonna carefully 
pull off the inside sticker. And then you're gonna line this up perfectly at the bottom here and then just kind of drop it on to the top piece up here. It's not yet touching the glue. As you can see, it is resting on this piece right here, which you need to leave it that way for now. Let me go ahead and throw the other one on really quick. Okay, now these next steps are the most important steps to ensure you get the liquid spread out very evenly. So what you're gonna wanna do is put your finger here at the bottom. You're gonna slightly tilt the tray up. And then once the liquid reaches the middle of the glass here, you're going to pull this out that way it will spread evenly. So let me go ahead and do that for both devices here. So go ahead and press this down till it reaches the middle, pull it out, boom. Do the same thing for this device over here. Tilt it down, wait till it reaches the middle, pull it out, boom. And then just let it sit back flat and then just let it spread out on its own. So once this is done spreading, I will go ahead and get right back to you. Okay, so the liquid is all spread out nice and evenly on both devices. It's gonna take about a minute or two to evenly spread, but once it does, once it is finished, you're going to take the UV lights that are provided with the screen protectors and you're gonna turn it on for 15 seconds on the bottom and 15 seconds on the top. So that way the adhesive will cure. So let me go ahead and do this really quick, 15 seconds on the bottom, like I said, and then we'll go 15 seconds on the top. And that is 15 seconds on the top as well. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and take off the top tray on both devices. So let me go ahead and take off the top tray, this one as well, and then go ahead and take off the speaker cover on both devices as well. And then we're going to go ahead and take the devices out of the tray. Now let's go ahead and start off with the plus. What you want to do is take the cleaning cloth again, the second one that is provided. And then you're gonna take the cloth and just really focus on the edges. That way you can clean off any liquid that has spread to the outside of the screen protector. So let me go ahead and get this all nice and cleaned up here. So that is all nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the S10. All right, just about finished there. Let me go ahead and set this to the side. So what you wanna do at this point is apply pressure to where your fingerprint sensor is for one minute. Just put your thumb there, put a little bit of pressure and just leave it there for about one minute. All right, and that was one minute. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and cure both devices again, leaving the UV light on the bottom for one minute and then go to the top for one more minute. So let me go ahead and leave it here for one minute and I'll be back to do the top for one more minute again. Okay, so that was one minute on the bottom. Let's go ahead and do one minute on the top. Okay, so that's been one minute at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat this process one more time, one minute on the bottom and one minute on the top. Okay, so both are now done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the UV lights on both devices. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. Both of them actually look really, really good. I don't see any air bubbles or anything like that. Both came out really good. So let me go ahead and turn on my device here and we're gonna test it out one more time with the in-display fingerprint sensor to see just how well it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and scan our fingerprint. Let's get it set up. And look at that, it looks like it's doing it really, really fast. It's recording that fingerprint pretty fast. So it looks like the screen protector is working pretty good. Let me go ahead and finish this up. All right, so my fingerprint has been added. Let me go ahead and press done. Let me go home. Now let's see if we can unlock the phone with the fingerprint sensor. Let's see how well it works. There we go. Look at that. Working good, working good. Let me try one more time. Look at that, it opens it up perfect. Gets faster every time. Let me try one more time. Working good. Look how quick that was. Let me try one more time. One more time. There we go. Look, as you can see, fingerprint scanner does work with this tempered glass screen protector by Widestone Dome. So they've done a very good job with the screen protector and it also looks nice. You can't even tell that I have a screen protector on, especially when the screen's on. Look at that, you can't even tell. You have to look really close. If I hold it like this, then you can tell. But other than that, it's looking good. It's looking great on this device as well, the regular S10. 
screen protectors looking good. So White Stone Dome has done a very good job with these screen protectors. I hope this video was able to help you out in trying to install your own screen protector on your device. But you all let me know your thoughts down in the comments sections below. Let me know what you thought of this little video. I hope it was able to help somebody out if you've got this screen protector for yourself. Let me know how it's working out for you. And if you have just got it and you came to this video to help you install it for yourself, let me know if it did help you. Make sure to leave a huge thumbs up on this video if you did like it and find it helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Hit that bell if you have not done so already so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. You guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.